Welcome to the Elite Training video. In this video you will illustrate how to configure your COM port to use with Elite Hardware. We will begin by right clicking on your My Computer icon, scrolling down and clicking on Properties. In this case we're using Windows 7. Now we want to go ahead and click on the left under Device Manager. Now from the ports section we need to open up the ports to make sure you've got an actual active COM port. Simply click on the little arrow. In this case our USB to serial converter is labeled as COM26. We want to right click on that and go to properties. Now COM26 is a little too high for Elite to use with external hardware. So we're going to go ahead and click on the port settings dialog box and then click on the advanced button. From this button we're going to select a new COM port number. Simply drop down this box and scroll up something between 1 and 8. In this case we're going to go ahead and pick COM3. Click OK, all the way to the right. And then OK on the next box. We're going to close the device manager. Now as we see it's selected as COM3. Now as we launch Elite software, you will see that we still have to configure the port now in Elite. Simply select your aircraft and database. And in this case, we're going to get a hardware failure. This hardware is being checked on this FAA approved system to make sure everything is working properly. Being that Elite does not know what COM port we're going to use to communicate with this hardware, we're going to get that failure. To fix this, simply we right click on the instrument panel and we go to configuration. From the configuration menu, we need to click computer set on the top left corner. That will be the third button down. Now in this new dialog box, we need to click the COM port change button. But first we need to check this box called Comport Search. That will enable the change button for us. Now we have the ability to press the change button. So go ahead and click on that. We're going to go ahead and press the scan button so it leads functions as a scanning tool to find the available Comport. Or basically the Comport that we're going to use to talk to the hardware. In this case, it came back with our COM3, which is our USB to serial converter. We're going to press continue. And Elite just tells you you need to restart the actual program so it all works. Press OK. Press back. And right click and go to quit. Or Alt Q on your keyboard shortcut. Now let's go ahead and launch Elite software. Select any aircraft in any database. And as you can see now in the bottom right corner, all of our tests have passed, meaning that your Elite hardware now will work with your software. This concludes this training video. Thank you for watching.